Refugees, they are not like other migrants. They are not moving for gain, but because they have no choice. They are seeking for safety abroad. Global refugee crisis, mass violence and fear of danger, broken system and necessity for its modernization. There are the problems that we may not actually take into consideration while talking about refugees. To start with, refugees should be entitled to expect three things. Rescue, autonomy and eventual route out of limbo. However, hardly any of refugees are getting them. According to the author, there are only three options that represent the impossible choice for refugees. Long-term encampment, urban destitution or pernicious journeys. The 21st century can do better than this. Well, one of the main ideas of this book is that refugee must be understood as not only a humanitarian issue, but also one of the development. Mass violence that may originate because of fragility is the reason for seeking safety abroad. Fragility has multiple reasons, such as spread of democracy following the fall of the USSR, which in many societies become a lucid democracy where checks on power are too weak to prevent majorities from abusing minorities. And last but not least is that point uh, about Convention of 1951, where any refugee has the right to not to be forcibly returned in a country in which there is a risk of serious harm. Unfortunately, many countries don't take this into consideration creating the problem of refugees. There is no doubt that the refugee crisis which happened in Europe was insane. The increasing number of those seeking shelter or having uh, in Europe in 2015 was disastrous. Thus, Betts and Collier in their third chapter are talking about the phenomena of uh, the refugee crisis um, in the European Union. Some countries are named as a heartless head and others as a headless heart based on their decisions towards the refugee crisis and their attitude. During the book, authors uh, mentioned UNCHR, which is uh, some kind of protagonist in this chapter. Uh, UNCHR is criticized in mismanaging the refugee situation. However, there is one more player, uh, Schengen, which is blaming all of this. Um, to help the refugee crisis be more arranged and to implement some immigration policy, uh, the Dublin regulation came into force. And uh, the concept of this approach is that if the country did let the refugee in, it should uh, keep him or uh, send them back. However, there was a problem because some countries uh, cheated and uh, refugees were sent in different uh, areas. So the author said that uh, this problem was an a hill hill of this uh, system. Uh, so moreover, what is more connected with um, this situation is the German case. What Merkel did in 2015 is uh, propose an initiative to welcome the refugees, uh, but without sending them back to the first uh, country of European Union which uh, they entered. Uh, it was quite beneficial for the refugees, uh, but unfortunately the Dub uh, Dublin Agreement was no longer valid. Uh, in the fourth uh, next chapter, uh, authors are wondering about two principles, the head one and the heart one. Authors are asking several questions and uh, one of them is uh, what is our duty towards a refugee and the answer is uh, to help them rescue because of our moral principles and this is an example of the heart principle. Uh, still there are two uh, more heart principles, the solidarity and uh, the need one. However, uh, the principle of heart is implemented in the comparative advantage and burden sharing. It is about uh, coordinating the response. The idea is uh, that burden sharing is divided between different participants and each does uh, something based on their capabilities. Uh, and this is what the heart uh, principle uh, includes. We are going to examine how to rethink heavens and assistance. Heavens were created to be more like a humanitarian sealer, a model that was designed to deal with the emergency phase, but has become the only kind of shelter which is remote and dangerous, with uh, both prohibitions on socio-economic activity. The geographical reality is that the majority of the world's refugees are in the countries that neighbor conflict and crisis. These countries of first asylum has the least capacity to host refugees, and they are authoritarian or poorly economically developed. In the camps, violence is enormous, and there is no formal right to work despite food rations being inadequate. Protection close to home undoubtedly has its advantages due to the fact that the refugees are more likely to preserve ties with the homeland. Another strong reason for the staying near their origin countries is the issue of sustainability. And the last but not least, an important concern is connected with the political crisis. 
where nowadays, uh, which nowadays become one of the most important. And nowadays, number of people seeking refuge is likely to increase. The dynamics of conflicts, fragile states, and environmental change are growing, so the issue of proper assistance is on agenda. The needs for refugee have been decreased to two basics, food and shelter. And according to the authors, to best, the best way to provide them is through the camps. But it's not enough. Almost half of the refugee convention focuses on the socioeconomic rights, such as the right to work and freedom of movement. But these rights are simply not implemented. It causes such consequences as long-term degradation of talents, ideas and aspirations. Moreover, restoring autonomy should be the top priority. One of the great examples is Nikavale, Uganda's largest and oldest refugee settlement. It demonstrates what can happen when refugees got economic freedoms. They bring crops, livestock and textiles to sale. Moreover, entrepreneurship may encourage uh, them to manage uh, in the best way and bring benefits to the city. For instance, running small shops is the most common activity. And many businesses are associated with particular nationalities. For instance, Ethiopians focus on taxi driving and foreign exchange, while randers are concerned with running closed shops. There are other examples, like Canadian industrial complex in North Korea, which used the South Korean cap capital to employ uh, first ones to work. However, there are several concerns related to national security and competition, like for economic resources. In the last chapter of my part, seven, we are going to rethink post-conflicts. There are several ideas which call is how to manage the post-conflict situation. The International Finance Corporation as an international public agency was created to, and its purpose is to attract firms to underdeveloped or developing countries. However, the outcomes are mostly negative as, the firm, as other uh, economic institution aims to expand. Yet, without them, countries can go out of fragility because the jobs and tax revenues that they will bring will help to stabilize the situation. Another way is establishment of small businesses. For instance, hair salons, bicycles, cafe shops and much more may bring advantages to the fragile state. And refugees may start to, own their, to earn their own money. Post-conflict societies need more profound skills in healthcare, education, construction, and much more. So the best way to train these options is uh, through the universities in the nearest heaven states. So summarizing, there are several main ideas how to uh, cope with these issues, and we are greatly disappointed that the majority of hosting states are not following this. Now we all do understand that the refugee system is ineffective and it needs to be changed. Therefore, I would like to tell you about several approaches that were proposed by the authors of this book in order to resolve the issue. And I would like to begin with showing you how an ideal refugee system should look like. Basically, it should have five interrelated components, sustainability at scale, production for duration of risk, the provision of development areas, the provision of a route out of limbo, and finally, management of onward movement. Your system benefits the economic situation of both host and post-conflict countries. The system should mainly focus on autonomy and employment, so heaven countries should give refugees an opportunity to work, because later on these skills will help refugees rebuild their home countries when the conflict is over. Moreover, new forms of partnership should be developed. For instance, business investment and mutual cooperation between countries. Basically, states should cooperate with each other on the principles of burden sharing and comparative advantage and engage with uh, the wider international community on refugee issues. These innovations should be taken into account in order to prevent another refugee crisis from emerging. Old system is ineffective and that may lead to the fact that the next crisis can even be um, worse than the one that happened in Syria. The refugee system should be changed as soon as possible, and it should be done in accordance with the approaches that were previously proposed. Thanks for your attention. We are looking forward to future changes, and we recommend you to read full version of this book.